I'm going to work backwards. Now let me explain to you what I mean by that. Let's say you've already removed 10 apples and two pears. They're not there. They're gone. What happens then? Well, according to the question, there will be three times as many pears as apples. That's what I'm trying to describe here. Three rectangles represent the number of pairs. I don't know what each rectangle represents. I'm going to find out. If three rectangles represent the number of pairs that were left after two pairs have been removed, then only one such rectangle will represent the number of apples that's left behind after 10 apples are removed. So that's the basis of my solution. This is where I'm going to start. Now, let's say this is a stack of pairs and I'm going to add two more pairs here and I'm going to add 10 more apples here. What will happen? The two stacks should match. Why? Because a fruit because the question says a fruit basket contains the same number of apples and oranges. So so after I add 10 apples and two pears the stacks should be the same height. I know my picture is horizontal. I, I get that, but I'm going to draw it like this. You could have done it vertically if you wanted to. So I'm going to use a small green circle or disc to represent a pair. One pair, a small green disc represents one pair and a small red disc represents one apple. So let's go ahead and try to stack them up nicely. So I've added my two pairs. Now I'm going to add, I'm going to add my apples here, right here. And I'm supposed to add 10 apples. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm going to start adding my apples from this end because I want to make sure the stacks are the same height. And if you prefer the word length, that's fine with me. So let's go ahead and do that. I added my two apples from the right hand side so that the stacks are the same height. I added four more. I added four more. So now I have added 10 apples to my gray rectangle, which represents a certain number of apples. And I've added two pairs to a set of three gray rectangles. And each gray rectangle represents a certain number of pairs. Now, by comparing the two pictures, I can conclude that each rectangle must be equivalent, This, especially this rectangle, this rectangle, must represent four pairs. That's the only way they'll match. This rectangle must also represent four pairs. So does this. Therefore, this must represent four apples as well. Now the question says, how many apples were there originally in the basket before you removed the 10 apples? The answer has to be 4 plus 10 or 14. There must have been 14 apples originally in the basket. Take a look. Make sure you understand the visual representation of the problem scenario and how we started backwards.